We're in a very unique moment in history. This is really a moment when something like this has to be done. A handful of corporations have monopolized the global seed industry. We are losing more and more genetic diversity each year. When you go to a store and you see what's for sale, and then you know what's out there in the seed world, it's really frightening. It's vast quantity of food possibilities that we're not tapping into. We have so many problems that could be fixed by a better agricultural system. The Experimental Farm Network is an open source platform for collaboration and innovation in plant breeding and agricultural research. Our focus is on developing plants and growing systems that can fight climate change. At the moment, Dusty and I have done the work of creating this network of people, connecting researchers with volunteer growers around the country. This was our pilot year of the Experimental Farm Network, and we recruited people from 44 states and 15 countries. We mailed seeds out to over 200 volunteer growers this year. Ultimately, we, we plan to create a state-of-the-art website that will be a social network to facilitate communication between researchers, experiment designers, and volunteer growers. We want anyone who has any kind of idea, any kind of project that they want to start, to be able to find collaborators around the country. This project is all about preserving genetic diversity and improving varieties so that they fit the climate where we live right. and at the same time building community. So in Saving Seeds, you also are able to save the seed stories and that helps us to preserve culture. As farmers, we have a responsibility to protect the planet, to protect the soil, to protect the water, and to protect the climate. We have the opportunity to improve upon medicinal plants, fiber crops, plants for organic production. Given the situation with climate change, we need to be experimenting with a wide variety of genetic diversity to breed plants that can adapt to the new realities of particular regions. We can also combat climate change through the development of agroecology systems and perennial plants that sequester carbon. Perennial plants, including grains, oil seeds, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, require less water, less tillage, less fertilizer, and create flourishing ecosystems that produce food, all while reducing carbon in the atmosphere. The network is tailoring our, our food crops to our situation. Many models for different places and different soils and different climates. We know that decentralized participatory plant breeding works and is more efficient than traditional institution-based approaches. Participatory plant breeding develops new, resilient varieties faster with more genetic diversity. The urgency of the climate crisis demands unprecedented action now. When we get more than the 200 people we have this year, when we get 2,000 people working on this, or we get 20,000 people collaborating together, we can't even imagine what kind of advancements we'll be able to make. We're trying to build something big here. The climate crisis is real, and we're talking about real solutions. It'll take collaboration on an unprecedented scale to get us where we need to go. And that's what the Experimental Farm Network is all about. We can breed better plants, develop better systems, and create an agriculture that doesn't just adapt to climate change, but fights it. We can't just wait around for somebody else to solve this problem. And none of us can do it alone. We need your help so we can continue to build this network. Please join us and support this project.